we professionals in this field are aware that open defecation in public places amount to health hazard. I believe the health officials here can, you know, do better justice, you know, to that. And environmental pollution, and as such, it is a social problem that affects a significant number of persons we should be considered undesirable in the society. Social is defined as a network of interaction. There are attitudes of people towards the study of social problems, which includes cynicism, fatalistic, resignation and social behavior attitude of a trained social work, worker to resolve social problems, which we must adopt in Edo State. To this effect, therefore, the ministry will be in full collaboration to implement these objectives and goals by ensuring that there will be massive sensitization and awareness creation of this program in all social institutions in Edo State, orphanage homes, IDP camp and rehabilitation center on sensitization and hygiene improvement in various social institutions in the state. Two words, two key words that are inside that word, big word, personal hygiene. The first word there is what? Person. Person. And the second one there is hygiene. So when you say person, I am talking about yourself. Yourself from your head to your toe. And when you say hygiene, you are talking about the size and the act of taking care of that yourself from head to your toe. Because if you don't take care of yourself from head to toe, it will affect the physical external body we are seeing, which is the head to toe, and also severely affect the internal organs and the internal part of the body that our own physical eyes cannot see. So when we talk about personal hygiene, we are not just particular about the person that we are seeing as an entity from your head to your toe, but rather we are very, very important, most, most importantly, we are considering that part of the body that you cannot see with your physical eye, which are the vital organs. And when you don't take care of this person that you are seeing now, you are invariably causing more problem and harm for that inner part of you that is not seen with the physical heart. Of us that are right, the signs of maintaining good health, especially cleanliness. So when I say signs, it means that the way you go do for your body, where we say you no know, go sick, now be maintaining good health. What you go do, mama, papa, do for Pekin, for that Pekin, make it be say, he no sick. That is the signs of maintaining good health. And I say especially cleanliness. Cleanliness, let me say, we have to remove dirty from your body, dirty from the king body, dirty from the uh, environment where you day, where you they sit down, where you they cook, where you they sleep. Remove dirty from there. Because if you not remove dirty, it will lead to waiting, disease, and infection. To represent my minister, Honorable Minister Shandia Omnofaro, who is unavoidably absent in another program now. So she has asked me to represent her. In representing her, she has asked me to read her address. With your kind permission, I will read the address. May I ask to rely on the already established protocol? Highly esteemed resident of home for the needy, I did recap. Functionaries of government here present, the religious and traditional leaders, the good people of Ibene, say, I welcome you to this occasion of the sensitization slash awareness on clean Nigeria use the toilet campaign. As you may be aware, the practice of open defecation has become common in many communities due to lack of sanitation facilities. Many public places either lack sanitation facilities or have facilities which are not accessible or fit to use. Nigeria still tops the Global League of Countries in which open defecation is prevalent 
with an estimated 47 million of our people indulging in the practice. It has been abundantly established that open defecation has a negative impact on the health, educational outcomes, and social economic life of the populace, especially women and children. Women, girls, young children with no access to improved toilet facilities at home or in school are especially vulnerable. Beyond direct health risk, shame and potential violence are constant reality for them when seeking a place to educate. The economic impact of unsafe water, poor sanitation and hygiene depletes the Nigerian economy by almost the equivalent of 1.3% of the gross domestic product, GDP. Why 124,000 under five are lost annually as a result of diarrhea? Accordingly, according to World Health Organization, one in every four Nigerians defecate openly, thereby creating a medium for potential transmission of the wild polio virus, cholera, hepatitis, amongst other infectious diseases because they have no access to adequate toilet facilities. Additional data presented by UNICEF show that an estimated 120 million people in the country lack access to improved sanitation facilities or facilities that hygienically separate human waste from human contact. Consequently, the Clean Nigeria campaign was launched on the 19th November 2019 as a national initiative to drive the process towards the attainment of national target of making Nigeria open defecation free by 2025. This in accordance with the national roadmap developed and launched in 2016. The key objectives of the campaign include the implementation of a campaign, Clean Nigeria, Use the Toilet, which is aimed at advancing the public towards a new culture of safe defecation and to end open defecation in Nigeria by 2025. In realization of this fact, the ministry is organizing this sensitization slash awareness creation on, on, on sanitation and hygiene, Clean Nigeria, Use the Toilet campaign in all the IDP camps in Nigeria. The first phase of the sensitization was held in Northeast Geopolitical Zone, Bakasi Camp in Maiduguri, Oronu State, Malkoli Camp, Natari, Yola South in Adamawa State, and Rindibi Camp in Bauchi State, as well as Bakasi Camp Cross River State, South South Geopolitical Zone, and now home for the needy IDP Camp in those states. The Arrangement is still on to extend the sensitization campaign to other IDP camps in the country. The objective is to encourage the promotion, restoration, maintenance, and the use of toilet among the IDP camps, as well as to support the construction slash rehabilitation of existing toilet facilities in the camp. To achieve the stated objective of ending open defecation by year 2025, the ministry developed an implementable work plan. Part of the work plan involves refurbishment and maintenance of existing public toilets, sanitation stroke awareness, creation of sanitation and hygiene in all the IDP camps, and provision of improved sanitation facilities, etc. At this juncture, on behalf of the Honorable Minister, I wish to appreciate the state government, the camp coordinator, and the management team, and the entire internally displaced persons in the camp for your support and participation towards the success of awareness campaign in known for the need IDP camp. On this note, it is my special privilege and pleasure to officially launch the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign in the home of the needy IDP campaign. Honorable Minister, Adia Sadia Omafaru, of Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, she has asked me to present it to the school. So I'm handing it over to the school authority. Thank you. On behalf of my permanent secretary, Minister of Social Development and Gender Issues, in collaboration with Federal Minister of Material and Affairs, I present to you this item for optimal use. Thank you. Thank you. I really learned a lot from the messages.
pass from different people. In the aspect of personal hygiene, I really learned a lot. I learned that by the act of taking care of my body. My being here, in fact, I've learned a lot about opening defecation and personal hygiene and environmental hygiene. I learned that open defecation causes a lot of disease and sicknesses to human beings. And I learned that I have to maintain my environment, especially have to make toilets available, make everything clean, so how to excrete and other things. Developing this program, humanitarian ministry was given the duty to carry out sensitization and awareness creation to the IDP camps on clean use of toilets. As a humanitarian ministry, our own assignment is to carry our own to IDPs. There are other ministries to do that. Yeah, that's the second phase. We have not gone to southwest. We have not gone to southeast. We have only finished all the northeast. Now we are coming to south south. We have been to uh, Bakasin Cross River. We are here today. So that's so so many IDP horizon have been widened on the use of toilet facilities as against open defecation. Uh, not keeping to personal hygiene first of all uh, can result in different kind of infectious diseases for the individual. Somebody that is not keeping to good personal hygiene adequately can have dermatitis, can have a warm infestation and can fall sick and the immunity level will be so low. More also, when you talk about open defecation, you talk about defecating or excreting indiscriminately. Indiscriminately is a very, very poor practices and can result to poor hazard and bad hazard to the individual, to the community at large. We've discussed at length today of the risk and the dangers of open defecation. First of all, you defecate openly, it leads to diseases. It can result like cholera, it can result in diarrhea, it can result in an outbreak of cholera in a community and it can also affect even those around that community, not just cholera, it can result in warm infestation. That is why we are against open defecation. And we advise people to have toilet facilities where they can go and ease themselves. When they are done, they flush adequately and they wash their hands and that will be all, instead of defecating indiscriminately.